So we're going to run through each of the different lighting systems real quick just to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, first one we're going to start with is incandescents. The incandescents are kind of interesting right now because they have been around for a very, very long time, for uh, you know 100 plus years, uh, but uh, they are also being phased out. And so all of the systems, when we talk about uh, different uh, lighting systems, the CRI index, for example, uh, it's all based on the idea of an incandescent bulb. So there's all sorts of these sort of references to incandescence when we talk uh, either with clients or through the technical data or any of these things that everybody refers back to incandescence all the time and yet uh, we're in the process of actually completely phasing them out just because of their sort of lack of efficiencies. Uh, so it's, a, it's kind of an unusual situation. It's kind of like talking about a phone and talking about dialing on a phone uh, when you know, nobody has used a dial phone in years. So, uh, but because it is this sort of basic understanding and these different ways that we, uh, we talk about lights, I think it's worth uh, kind of running through it anyway. So a typical incandescent bulb, as we all know, kind of has that classic bulb shape. And in that classic bulb shape, we've got the ability for essentially one connection to a wire there and the other connection to a wire there. And there is a sort of loop up and that loop comes down. So one is connected and then the other is connected so that this filament, which has a little sort of toastery shape to it, a lot of surface area, uh, is made out of very particular sets of metals uh, and those very particular sets of metals when they get hot uh, get to a very particular color and so they glow hot. Uh, now obviously when they get to that specific color the reason they're glowing hot is that they are in fact hot which means they're giving off heat so while uh, we're getting lots and lots of good light sort of emanating away from this particular point source. As we're getting that light, we're also getting sort of massive amounts of heat that also are emanating away from that point source. It's essentially little tiny toaster inside a protected glass uh, environment. There's some huge advantages to the incandescence. Uh, one giant advantage is it's really fast. You uh, turn it on and it heats up and it is effectively on immediately. Uh, there's a subtle delay for it to actually heat up, but it's so fast you don't even really notice that. Uh, and uh, that speed is really uh, fairly unusual in the, uh, in the lighting industry. Uh, LEDs are pretty fast and there's a couple of other things, but a lot of the other really efficient lighting systems actually have pretty uh, significant delays and uh, there's a meaningfulness to that in certain situations. So that's great. They're also dimmable in fairly sort of easy ways. Uh, so you don't have to have a lot of specialty electronics or anything like that. You just uh, control the amount of uh, power that's going through it and that will control the amount of light coming out of it. Uh, so very simple, straightforward, dimmable, uh, that's uh, super handy. The fact that it produces so much heat and that its efficiency is so low, that's really the big problem with them and that's why they're being sort of slowly phased out. The shapes, um, the A's are sort of the uh, kind of classic light bulb shape. The G's are globes, which are a bit more spherical. Uh, PARs are parabolic, uh, sort of uh, directional. Uh, C's and uh, other similar ones are like shaped like candles. Uh, there's a whole series of different shapes. When we talk about the size of these, you'll see like, for example, an A29. Well, the A29 refers to the A shape, which is that classic shape, and the 29 would refer to 29 eighths of an inch. So it's just sort of one of those sort of funny ones where they, for whatever reason back in the day, uh, chose to uh, measure these in eighths of an inch. So pretty much all of the, uh, the actual bulbs themselves of all the different systems, when you're talking about a, a measurement size, uh, they're actually referred to in eighths of an inch. Same thing will be true with uh, HIDs and fluorescence and, and all of that. Great thing, fast, uh, easily dimmable, um, they're cheap to make, especially because we have so many uh, decades and decades and decades of, uh, of uh, experience making them. Um, there's a lot of variety of different uh, sizes, so like different amounts of uh, light that you can get. I can get a 20 watt bulb, I can get a 150 watt bulb, I can get all these different sizes. There are huge numbers of uh, options available. Uh, so that's what's really great about them. 
the downside is uh, that, as I said, uh, they just produce so much excess heat uh, that they, A, can be dangerous, but also mostly they're just wasteful. The place where that's really awesome uh, is if you happen to have an easy bake oven, uh, you just put the little light bulb in there and it produces so much heat you can actually bake cookies with it. Uh, but most of the time we don't really want our uh, light bulbs to be uh, producing that much heat. There are a few occasions, very subtle few occasions, where it's actually kind of handy. Uh, you might find it in uh, a certain, like a garage setting or something like that, where that little bit of heat uh, actually builds up over time and is fairly useful, or in a vestibule, or in some other places where having that little extra heat actually can be, uh, can be a positive. But the vast majority of the time, that heat is just wasted and we're just air conditioning it away uh, as much as we can. One quick sort of discussion about it, I just mentioned that you, know, you can get a 20 watt bulb or a 100 watt bulb or 150 watt bulb. Uh, and so people generally in the United States refer to the strength of light through the idea of watts. Um, that's actually a really bad way to do it. It just happens to be because the incandescents were there first and when you put a certain amount of power into it, it produces a certain amount of light. Uh, you put less power into it, it produces less light. Uh, so you, it was an easy way to discuss just like how much light was coming out was by how much energy we were putting in. But in fact, uh, watts are power, not a measure of light. And so by having turned the discussion of the measure of light into using the word watts, it means that every time, every new system since then has been a sort of complication of uh, trying to uh, measure back to, from watts back to actual light. So you'll see that it'll say a compact fluorescent uh, uses nine watts, but is similar to a 60 watt. And so they're just trying to tell you that it's an amount of light, but nobody would understand how many lumens were coming out. It's just not something that people uh, refer to in their everyday life. And so they just don't know those numbers. And so people need to hear it in the watts, but it's actually not an accurate discussion. Uh, so that's one sort of uh, complication of the sort of old school nature of the incandescence is it sort of sent us down this sort of way of discussing these things that is not uh, wildly helpful. But everybody understands them. People like the light that comes out of them. Uh, they like the uh, sort of yellowy, slightly whitish, but mostly yellowy light that comes from them. Um, as they start to disappear, my guess is, is that people will uh, get used to the sort of whiter lights of the fluorescence and the LEDs. Uh, and in you know not too distant future, when you put in an incandescent bulb and that sort of yellowy cast comes from it, people will sort of wonder like, wow, these look really sort of odd. Like it, we'll get used to the new lights, um, but right now, especially older generations, if you put in those brighter, uh, whiter lights, uh, people will sort of uh, uh, be nostalgic for the yellowy light, uh, but that will eventually go away. So incandescent uh, systems, right, those are on their way out, uh, have certain advantages, but also a lot of disadvantages.